Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and happy Friday. Yay! And it's a three day weekend. I hope you have some fun plans. Today we are doing something that ins was inspired by Girl on the Ridge, Lori. And I was just really moved and inspired by her lace envelopes. So I thought today we would do some envelope art that is super soft, super feminine, and and I thought it was a great way to kick off the weekend. So come with me and let's get started. Okay guys, so what I have here is a pile <laughs> of stuff. Somewhere in here I have, here it is. Okay, this is going, going to be our envelope we're decorating. And the reason I am making such a large envelope is I'm going to fit a small journal in it. And the cool thing about this, this is actually a nine by 12 envelope that I folded. The flap will seal if you wanna seal it. And you have the, pot. we're gonna sew the sides, so you'll have one pocket here, but you'll also have another pocket here. So you can put a small journal and extra tags and journaling cards which we'll do. This is only part one, guys. Part one, I'm so excited. My first multi-part video. Okay, so I thought we'd start by decorating the envelope today. And we're gonna start by having it open. I'm not gonna sew it shut yet until I get it decorated. Now this is my front and you need to just keep it in mind. So if you need to decorate it like folded so you'll know which side is which, that's fine. Now this is the vintage lace table runner that had it rip in it that I bought at the garage sale and I'll link, not link, but I'll put that card above and I've cut off a piece to go on the front of my envelope and I was kind of thinking what I wanted to do is so much stuff. I sit in front of the TV and just make stuff all the time. All right. So I made this. This is a um, vintage, not vintage, sorry. This is a junk mail envelope cut in half and I put some ribbon on it and got a tag in it. And it's just on a piece of paper with some lace. And I thought I would put that like maybe right there. And I thought I would put this graph paper kind of like that. Maybe that straight like that. Okay, so I thought it would look like that to start with. And then I have this great flower that I got in a swap. And I thought I would put the swap flower there. And then maybe put some ribbon down the side here. So what do you think? It looks kind of busy. Hmm. Maybe if I take this off the paper. One thing about it, when you make something, if you don't like it, you can always deconstruct it. Maybe sideways like that. We need a little something to break up some of the lace and to give it a little more texture. Now, how is that? Is that better? I think that might be. So we're gonna glue our lace in first. So I'm gonna get my glue. And I'm gonna use my fabric slash paper glue and if you want to see this video it's in my videos because it will only let me put one video card in here and I was going to put the garage sale one but maybe I'll put the glue one I guess you'll be surprised okay so I just put down a whole lot of glue and I am putting down my lace And I'm going to go back on this edge because I brought the lace all, all the way to this edge. 
and I left some space over here. I was thinking I might break up the lace with some pink ribbon. Okay, so there's my lace down, which is our base. And then we're gonna put our flower over here, which is also where I thought I would squint up some ribbon. I think I'll put it kind of in the center. And then this over here. Let's see, maybe. Yeah, I kind of like that. That's super soft, but giving it some texture with the grid paper. And then, of course, we'll have our pink ribbon. Of course, you lose my woman there. Maybe like that. Yeah, I like that. That is super feminine, especially once I go back and add some pink fabric or ribbon. Let's see what I've got. Okay. I have got a ton of pink. So let's see. Oh, yep. here matches what's going to be used throughout the journal. And I can just kind of squinch it up. And yep, I think that'll work. So I'm going to squinch. Get everything glued down. You know, the grid paper is not super feminine. Maybe we'll leave the grid paper off. But then is it, with the ribbon too, is it just... Yeah, I think the ribbon will make it. Okay, so... Let's put this here. to get some more of my favorite glue because it works on both fabric and oops works on both fabric and paper and it works good on both and like I said the the envelope pocket from junk mail and all that is stuff that you know you make while you're watching TV okay now we've got that down I'm gonna Go sew my envelope together, and then I will do the ribbon on the side. Okay, so all I'm going to do is a zigzag, zigzag stitch. Now you see why I had to sew it before I put the um, fabric squinchy up. Before I put the fabric um, bunched up ribbon on it because it would have been sewn over and I th it wouldn't have looked as good because I'm going to ruche the fabric. Now I'm going to do the other side. And I'm going to move that out of the way just a little bit. My pocket is kind of in the way but I'm just going to bring it up for right now. And you can sew through glue, guys, but you can't sew through double-sided tape. You have to get a new needle. And yes, I learned that the hard way. I'm trying to do it where you can sort of see. It's kind of hard to get in here at the sewing machine, but I thought we did pretty good with that. All right. Glue that. Make sure. Oh, my flower moved. I guess it wasn't. As glued down as I thought. That's okay. We'll go back and get our get our flower glued down. Okay, so we're back, and I'm going to glue my flower back in place. I didn't give it time to dry before I sewed it, but that's okay. That's my mistake. I will own that one. Okay, right there. This big flower I had gotten in a swap, a Flourish Journal swap, and it is such a fun flower. There's like layers, and you see the little flower with the gem in the center? Isn't that pretty? I can't remember who I swapped with, but it's really pretty. Okay, now I'm going to cut this. It's not going to be precise because I am going to squish it, squinch it, ruche it, but... That's okay. So all I do to ruche it is I put my glue down. 
Okay, I'm trying to get the best there. And then I come in and I lay the fabric and I kind of squish it up every so often. But my fingers get glue on them. So you kind of have to work your own fingers loose. And I'm just bunching it up and it's going to be short. I knew that. Let's scoot it down some. And sometimes you have to use like extra fabric doing this. I mean extra glue. All right, and there is our very soft, very feminine artistic envelope with lace inspired by Girl on the Ridge. I love it. Now, I know some people don't like coffee dyed, which is what my envelope was. Some people don't have lace. Maybe you're just starting out, or maybe you're on a really strict budget, and that's fine too. You can make the same thing. You can make the same envelope, very girly, without coffee staining, without spending a lot of money. Okay? You can use paint and paint it whatever color you like. I would paint it pink, and then I would cut some paper border if my budget's really tight and use the paper as a border on the side and the bottom with it painted pink that's very feminine very soft and very workable you could decoupage a pretty napkin on it paint some of it pink do some napkin and do a decorative tag on the front or something to kind of meld it in the middle that's very feminine, something very workable. You could get some lace from Hobby Lobby, Joann's, or Michael's and do lace on the side and the bottom and paint it pink or whatever color. I, and I'm just saying pink because that's what I have out. Or you can buy other kinds of ribbon. So you don't have to have everything all like this. If you're not at that point yet or if you're on a budget, Work with what you've got, and there are beautiful papers that would decorate pretty. Paint is always a go-to, always, always. Decoupage is another go-to. I mean, you don't have to spend a lot of money to make a very beautiful, artistic, feminine envelope. That is going to hold a very artistic, feminine journal in it. So come back tomorrow, or Monday? No, come back tomorrow for part two and we will start putting our our journal together awesome. so guys come back for part two tomorrow where we are starting to build the very feminine and artistic journal that will go inside our very beautiful envelope mm -hmm. have a great day guys have a great three-day weekend and i'll see you later bye <laughs>